Hey, good morning, guys. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Tim here on another uh, Real Estate Minute, more or less. And I do call it more or less because if you know me, uh, you'll know that I have a very difficult time making any point in a minute or less, uh, much less when it comes to real estate. Uh, today, we are still talking about uh, FISBOs, for sale by owners. And uh, as a realtor, I deal with a lot of FISBOs. A lot of folks do try to sell their home on their own, and that's fine. More power to you. Uh, the problem with most FISBOs, and I don't know why my voice went up there, the problem with, geez, with most FISBOs is uh, the homeowner uh, really doesn't know what they're doing. No offense. Uh, they don't quite know how to price the house. Uh, they're really not prepared for uh, the aftermath of even trying to get an offer, doing contracts, and that sort of thing. So I'm going to do a series of videos on the pitfalls of FISBOs. I'll probably have a, a snazzy intro done, just like they do on the news. The, the pitfalls of FISBOs. Uh, but primarily today I want to talk about uh, pricing because I am on my way to a closing. This was a FISBO and uh, a lot of the things I talk about on this channel are lessons uh, that I've learned and hopefully my clients have learned along the way. So let's talk about pricing. You have decided that you want to sell your home. Now you you're not an agent, you're just uh, an average Joe or Jill. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to figure out is how much is your home really worth? Or more importantly, how much will your home bring on uh, in the current market? Now, our current market is very tight, so home prices are a little higher uh, than they might have been at any other time. But if you're just Jack and Jill, you don't know that stuff. That's the stuff that you know people like me deal with. You uh, really don't know what your house is worth. So uh, nine times out of 10, you'll do what I call the Shrek method. Now, if you remember the movie Shrek, he was the lovable ogre that would pull the earwax out of his ear and make a candle with it. So that's basically what the Shrek method is. You are pulling uh, what you think the price should be out of your ear uh, or other body parts. This is a family show, so we won't go there. Um, but you just pull the price out of your ear. Maybe, you know, rather than calling an appraiser, to find out exactly what it's really worth, or better yet, calling a realtor who will give you a free market analysis. Happy to, anytime. Uh, you just pull the price out of your ear. Maybe you go on Zillow and you put your house in there and you uh, let Zillow tell you what your house should be worth. That's really kind of a sort of almost educated guess and nothing more. Zillow home prices, are typically uh, skewed dramatically because Zillow just doesn't take everything into effect. Uh, maybe you uh, maybe you do what I call the reckon method, and that's where you say, "Well, I reckon it ought to be worth this much." The reckon method never works. Uh, maybe you asked your neighbors. Maybe you went over to uh, to Bob next door and said, "Bob, I'm thinking about selling my house." What do you think I should ask for? It? Well, again, unless Bob is a realtor or uh, someone connected with real estate, chances are Bob is going to use the Reckon method or the Shrek method. But I'll tell you this, Bob is always going to give you a lowball price because he doesn't want your house to be worth as much as his house. It's just human nature. So no matter how you come up with the price guys nine times out of ten you are off the mark you have either priced yourself uh, too high out of the market or you may have actually priced your house too low which someone's going to come in buy the house and you're going to leave money on the table so regardless of what method you use even if you want to sell the house on your own if you're if you're determined to be a FISBO, you need to get a much better, more accurate price on the house. And I'm happy to do that for you. Hey, I don't have to list your house to help you sell it. 
I would be more than happy to work with you, get you a good comparative market analysis, figure out what is a fair price for your house, and uh, at least, the least I can do is help you price it accurately uh, if you are determined to be a FISBO. So keep that in mind. That is uh, what I consider the biggest mistake that most FISBOs make is they inaccurately price the house. There are other mistakes. We're going to talk about that in coming videos, but uh, that's going to do it. I think I've talked enough. Tim Knox here. Hey, if I can help you in any way in real estate, buying, selling, uh, investing, commercial, residential, I do it all. Uh, feel free to uh, just give me a call or drop a comment in below or private message me and uh, I would be happy to work with you. I also have uh, some materials that you can download as a FISBO that will help you uh, determine the price. So just drop me a, a message below, ask for those materials and I'll make sure I, uh, I get those to you. All right, you guys have a great day. I got to go to Decatur and uh, close on a house. See you soon.